Hi YouTube! Welcome back to Random Thoughts on Thursdays. Today I'm going to be talking about some of the remodeling projects that we've done on our house in the last couple of years. Okay, so since I moved into this house, which is uh, my fiancé's house, uh, he's had the house for something like 15 years, and I've lived here for about two and a half. And since I moved in, we've done a number of remodeling projects, and he's done a lot of stuff in this house over the years. Um, he put in a new garage door, a new front door, painted the exterior, painted most of the interior. So he's done a lot of things already. And since I've lived here, we've also done a bunch of things, and we have a few more to do yet this year before we can put it on the market and sell it. And some of the things that we've done, uh, one, uh, the first one that we did after I moved in was the basement. Uh, the basement was a disaster. It was completely unfinished and was just basically being used for uh, storage and just had piles and piles of crap down there. And we really needed to get that cleaned up and organized and then remodeled. And we didn't want to completely finish it. Um, by completely finishing it, you increase the square footage of the house and you increase your um, tax rate. So we only did a couple of pieces where we were actually finishing it with drywall. And then the rest of the basement, what we did is we just put plaster straight onto the uh, cement walls and textured and painted over that. So it looks like a completely finished basement, which is really nice, but it's not technically finished. Um, also, because of the way we did it, you can see all of the electric conduits along the walls, and so it kind of gives it a little bit of a modern feel uh, to that, and, and you can still know that you're in a basement. With the way we did the trim uh, and the painting, uh, it kind of looks a little retro as well. Uh, so we really, we really liked the way it turned out. And so the way we went about doing it, and, and you'll be seeing photos here as I'm talking about this, one was to build in a bathroom. That's one of the things we wanted in the basement was a bathroom, and just a half bath, a toilet and sink, and that's it. And we also wanted to uh, wall in the hot water heaters. Uh, we also got a second hot water heater. We had a uh, 150 gallon hot water heater. We added a second one, so there's 100 gallons of hot water. And it was actually better to do two rather than one single 100 gallon. Um, there's a technical reason for that. I just know that it they, they cycle between the two of them and uh, the space that we were putting them in, the 100 uh, gallon water heater was going to be too wide. So I know that's one of the reasons why we went with two. Uh, but the other reason was uh, just because having one cycled through um, in series with the other ultimately ends up giving you um, more hot water uh, in the long run uh, as one is heating up and the other one's being used and everything. So uh, in the long run, it actually works out really well. We rarely ever run out of hot water now, which is awesome. And what we ended up doing was just putting those two hot water heaters in a little utility room right off of the bathroom. So you have to go into the bathroom and then there's a pocket door and you can access them. And the door is wide enough so that you can remove the hot water heaters easily and, and all that thing, all that stuff. So, uh, and it's still, everything's relatively accessible um, to keep with compliance of city code and things. And then of course we put in the bathroom and oddly enough, I always thought the space was really, really tiny. But when you're in there, the bathroom feels a lot bigger than it should for the space. So the um, the construction guy who who worked on it actually did a really good job with the layout and everything, uh, which was really great. And then um, after that, we obviously plastered all the walls. And on the other side of the um, staircase coming down, we put in a closet so that we could have some storage that we can stick it away and have a door and close it away uh, so you can't see it. And in there is also um, an audio-visual. Um, we have shelving in there so you can put uh, an entire AV system in there. And we, we actually have one. And it's all tied to a uh, flat panel TV that we hung on one wall. And the wall we actually painted black. So the TV is hanging there on a black wall. And so if you're sitting there, uh, you're kind of seeing this TV that looks almost like it's floating in the air because it's, it's surrounded by black. And we also have in-wall speakers and in-ceiling speakers. And so you end up getting a really nice sound system um, for the whole uh, area. And um, we did a kind of a faux 
um, tin copper looking ceiling, uh, kind of a retro looking ceiling, and then the uh, trim that we put in is really retro looking, and we painted all the trim black, and we painted all the walls kind of a, a creamy coffee tan color, and uh, the whole effect just all really came together really nicely. Um, the floor we kind of kept cement and we just did um, an epoxy with sprinkles on it, similar to what you would do in a garage. Uh, that way, because we were going to have parties down there, and that way if people spilled drinks or, or dropped a glass or something, it would be super easy to clean up and you wouldn't have to worry about it. And we do have one little rug in there over by where people would sit on the couches, but other than that, the, uh, the rest of the basement is just uh, bare concrete with epoxy on it. And um, just, again, easy cleanup. And uh, we also, we were going to put a bar in, we just, we never got around to putting the bar in, but we do have the lights for the bar um, that we already put into the ceiling that was part of the remodel as well. So if someone uh, wants to put a bar into the basement, it's ready to go. You just have to put the bar in. Uh, so at any rate, uh, the, the project turned out really great and we're really happy with it. The other project that we've gotten done so far this year is on the upstairs where we took out all the carpeting upstairs and put in a laminate cherry wood floor. So it looks like a cherry hardwood, but it is a laminate. It's a DuPont laminate, so it looks it looks actually really good. Um, and, and you can see from the photos, I hope that it, you know, I think it looks really good. Uh, if you look up close, uh, you know, really inspect it, it does look like laminate, but it's, um, if you're just walking and looking, or it just, it looks really sharp and I think looks better than the carpeting. And um, the other part of that was also the bathroom. So we had the, we remodeled the bathroom. Uh, we did that in several different stages and I don't have photos of the very, very early parts of the bathroom um, where it was originally a 60 inch long counter with a single sink in the middle and a um, one big mirror along the wall and just looked really cheesy and retro and just really didn't work very well. So uh, my fiance, he ripped all of that out, uh, laid the new floor in, and then what we ended up doing, because we couldn't find a 60-inch 60, 60 cabinet and countertop with, for, with space for two sinks um, that was like under $1,000. Everything was like, you know, $1,500, $2,000 and up. And that was just getting a little too ridiculous in price, um, especially for this neighborhood. Um, spending that much money on a bathroom just wasn't feasible. So he ended up doing two 30-inch um, single sinks and was sticking them together and uh, it actually looks really nice if you can see from the photos. So we have those and we also have uh, two um, basically in wall uh, medicine cabinets that we got as well and we finally got those put in the walls with the, the most recent part of the construction and uh, that looks really really nice as well as as moving the the light fixture up uh, a notch we had attached a light fixture uh, to where the existing one had been but the medicine cabinets were really tall so uh, the electrical outlet uh, the fixture needed to be moved up a bit and so we had an electrician come in and do that for us we also installed a light uh, over the bathroom, the shower, so that we'd have a little bit more light in the shower. And we also put in uh, brown marble tile. And that was actually the most expensive part of the project was the tile. We actually bought all the tile ourselves at Home Depot. I think it was Home Depot. And um, so that helped reduce the cost. We, we purchased the product ourselves. Uh, we just paid for the labor, and uh, it took a lot longer than we expected to, but uh, the tile person that we got did an amazing job, and he really tr didn't charge uh, very much for it. So we got really lucky. We also put in a new tub, new fixtures there, new toilet, So and, and everything's now been repainted, and it's just come out really 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 nicely um, and so this is sort of like uh, part one remodeling story and there'll be you know part two and three possibly for coming down the line later this year as we start getting into more of the projects so that's all I have to talk about today I'll see you in two weeks bye